The Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, known as Embari, is a nonprofit research institution where scientists and engineers work together to explore and study the sea. The institute is located in Moss Landing, California, although it conducts research all over the world. Embari ships have easy access to Monterey Bay, one of the most intensely studied regions of the world ocean. Embari's Western Flyer is a stable ship for launching the remotely operated vehicle Dock Ricketts. Embari has developed a cabled observatory, the Monterey Accelerated Research System, or MARS, which provides round-the-clock access to instruments and information. One of the tools connected to the Mars Observatory is the Benthic Rover. About the size of a compact car, the Benthic Rover moves slowly across the seafloor, taking photographs of the animals and sediment in its path. Embari scientists study animals that live in the deep sea. Active predators, such as these large Humboldt squid, roam the ocean looking for slower moving prey. The strange looking barrel eye has eyes that are surrounded by a transparent, fluid filled shield that covers the top of the fish's head. The eyes are enclosed within a transparent shield, sort of like the canopy of a jet fighter. In front of the eyes are two dark capsules containing the fish's olfactory organs. Typically, Macropinus sits quietly in the water, using its big fins for stability, while it scans the water above for food. Some creatures hide out in areas where other animals have a hard time surviving. The vampire squid lives at depths where the seawater contains very little oxygen. When a whale dies and sinks to the sea floor, its carcass provides a large amount of food and temporary habitat for many types of animals. As the tissues removed, the soft tissues are removed, all you have left then are bones. And uh, the bones, of course, are hard to eat. There are no hyenas in the sea. So there are then organisms that live on the bones. Others, of course, can eat the bones, like these worms that uh, we'll talk about in a moment. Chemosynthetic biological communities, formerly known as cold seeps, are found in areas where previously buried sediments have been exposed by erosion caused by undersea landslides or strong persistent currents. These vesicomyid clams obtain all their nutrition from bacteria in their gills, which consume hydrogen sulfide, a chemical newly exposed on the seafloor. Davidson Seamount supports lush forests of deep sea corals and sponges. Davidson Seamount is an underwater mountain located approximately 75 miles southwest of Monterey Bay. We found a variety of organisms, including these sponges, and other animals like corals, which are quite long-lived. This research site off the coast of Santa Barbara provides insight into animals that live on the muddy seafloor, which makes up over half of the world's seafloor habitat. These time-lapse still images of animals were taken at one-hour intervals on the abyssal seafloor about 4,000 meters, or 13,000 feet deep. In 2003, researchers sailed on the Western Flyer from Moss Landing to the Gulf of California for a three-month expedition. Hydrothermal vents found there continuously spew hot, mineral-rich water that helps support a diverse community of organisms, including the giant tube worm, Riftia pachyptala. These have a symbiotic relationship with bacteria that get nutrition from the vent fluids.
In 2009, Ambari researchers and engineers sailed on the icebreaker Nathaniel B. Palmer to study biogeochemical cycles around icebergs. They used a remotely controlled airplane to carry a global positioning unit to the top of an iceberg to enable tracking of the iceberg's movement. In 2001, the Western Flyer had a three-month-long expedition to Hawaii. Here, you see some examples of the amazing lava formations in the deep waters off the Hawaiian Islands. While conducting research on undersea volcanic formations near Hawaii, the Ambari ROV encountered a previously unknown species of squid. In 2001, Ambari engineers had the opportunity to take the newly developed autonomous underwater vehicle to the Arctic. The U.S. Coast Guard cutter Healy can cut through cake ice and solid areas of ice, giving engineers the chance to test the AUV under the Arctic ice. The AUV operates on a pre-programmed mission, collects data, then returns to the ship. It ventured beneath the Arctic ice within seven degrees of the North Pole. In the Pacific Northwest, Ambari chemists study mounds on the seafloor made up of gas hydrates. Gas hydrates are a solid ice-like phase formed at low temperature and high pressure. Chemists use an instrument developed at Ambari, the in-situ laser Raman, to gain insight into the chemistry of gas hydrates. The ROV pilot skillfully placed the probe head of the laser Raman spectrometer close to the hydrate surface. From the spectrum, researchers will be able to determine the chemical composition and the crystal structure of the hydrate. During an expedition to Pioneer Seamount, an extinct volcano off the California coast, researchers found many corals. A new species of soft coral, Gersemia julipackardae, was named in honor of Julie Packard, Executive Director of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Scientists from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute and the California Academy of Sciences recently described a new species of octocoral from the Northeast Pacific Ocean. Hard rock substrate like the walls of Monterey Canyon provide ideal habitat for many of these sessile animals which live attached to the seafloor. Here we see a variety of corals and even many of our new species Expeditions are the best opportunities for collecting data and samples and exploring the ocean. But those data and samples are brought back to the Institute's laboratories in Moss Landing, California for analysis. Please visit ambari.org to learn more about Ambari's discoveries. You can now return to the tour to further explore the content, play back the full videos, or download and view a full-length tour in Google Earth.